Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question, what if you don't like the franchise you're looking at? I know it's kind of a weird question, but it'll make sense in, in a moment, especially if you're a people pleaser. Uh, when I publish videos, you can find out immediately by clicking that subscribe button below. But you know that already because thousands and hundreds of thousands of people who make videos tell you the exact same thing. Anyway, to the subject. What are you supposed to do if you don't like the franchise opportunity that you thought you were interested in? Well, uh, let's say that you're looking at two or three franchise opportunities and uh, you have engaged in conversations with the franchise development director of each franchise. One of the franchises, you just like, it doesn't make sense for you. You, you, you bat that one away and now you're looking at two. Turns out that the one you really were interested in and excited about, um, the more you've learned about it, the more you say to yourself, huh, it's kind of not what I expected. Uh, especially, uh, when the franchise development director mentioned what your role would be as a franchisee. So what are you supposed to do? I mean, you found out about this franchise opportunity. You found it yourself or you found it through someone else. And you're like, oh, man, this, this is cool. Uh, I want to do this. You have a conversation with the person at headquarters, the franchise development director. And uh, you like her. She likes you. And you're into about two or three weeks of the discussion. And even though you've heard a couple of things that are like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do this. You just love the concept. You love the product. Maybe you love the service, whatever the case. But the more you learn, the more you dig in, the less it makes sense for you. And as disappointed as you are, you are telling yourself, I cannot invest $250,000 for a franchise that just isn't doing it for me for whatever reason. So what are you supposed to do? Especially if you really like the person you've been interacting with at franchise headquarters. Well, if you're a people pleaser, it's kind of hard because you want to like hang in there. You don't want to offend her. Um, uh, you don't want to disappoint her because you know that she's a salesperson and she makes, you know, a commission if, if you buy a franchise. But really, you know, remember this is about you. So what do you do? You tell your franchise salesperson that, you know what? I really like you. And, um, I, I was so excited about this franchise concept, but um, it's not me. I'm not feeling it. Uh, I don't want to do what a franchisee does in this business. And I'm really sorry, but I need to move on. That's all you need to do. And if you have a really good relationship with this person and this person, the salesperson, um, you, be, you believe is ethical and really cares about you, ask her if there's another opportunity that you should be looking at that might be a better fit. Why not, right? My point is this, as much as maybe you don't want to hurt their feelings, this needs to be about you, no matter what. So if you don't like the franchise, tell the franchise salesperson, give your reasons why, even ask them for an idea, and then move on. You cannot let the franchise opportunity you were excited about, but aren't excited about anymore, live free in your head. You need to move on. Time is of the essence, all right? I'm not telling you to rush, but you need to find the opportunity that makes sense for you so you can dive in and do the research that you need. I hope that helped. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Thank you for watching this video.